many things I was impressed with, and this is the first thing I was impressed with. Yes. It's gorgeous. Table. Oh yeah, no, I mean I've uh, but I collect I collect a certain English pipe. Ah, okay. Is there a difference between like pipes? Absolutely. So and, what's and the, your... the time period that I collect mm -hmm. is the fifties and sixties okay. up through the seventies. <laughs> okay. Is it like a specific pipe? Then? What? Is it a very okay. specific pipe? This brand. Uh, this brand. Which brand? Sheridan. Ah, those are Sheridan. Those are Sheridan. Okay. Right. And so those are the ones. And English. Ah. Far and few between. Okay. Is it the shape? Because I know there's different no, shapes. There's many different shapes. But the, the nice thing about them is they're all made by hand. Ah, nice. So you know, they have the creative juices from a half a dozen carvers, including women carvers. Oh, Cool. Yeah, yeah. Has your battery run out yet? Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> so you're a broker then, yes? Yeah. Okay. So you only deal in American pipes? Yeah, so my website's AmericanPipeMakers.com. Perfect. And so I noticed you only take check you well you take um Visa, MasterCard and Discover, which I found very If it's plastic it's good with me. <laughs> Plastic is good. Yep, that's fine. Um, but paper. <laughs> yeah, paper, of course. Well, you know, cash is good. Um, I notice a lot of people here take checks. Which I don't. You don't? No. And your theory on checks? I, I will never... What happens if they bounce? I mean, for, for the most part, the people here are all retirees. They mm -hmm. have the money to spend. Yes. So the check's probably going to be fine, but I'm not willing to take that risk. Considering they're going to be all out-of-state checks. Right. And it, it's, it's one of those things, too, where even if I do take a check, that's rather dependent on me getting to the bank in a reasonable time to deposit it. So yeah. It's, yeah. it's good for both parties that I don't. Yeah, yeah. I think that it's very good. You have a lot of different carvers on your table, correct? Correct. Any of these girls? Um, no, but uh, I should be picking up one today. I've been Ooh. talking with Scotty Pierce, so she okay. said she was going to give me some supplies. So. Very cool. I noticed there are some women carvers, but not very many. Not many, no. It's uh, it's dusty and dirty. <laughs> women typically don't enjoy that. So That's not always true. <laughs> but you were telling me about the different types of brokers in the um, convention. Um, do they normally specialize in um, like in, like you do only American pipe makers? Oh. For the most part, everybody does every one. They're, they're really indiscriminate. Okay. Um, so I only do American handmade. And that's, that's what I collect myself. That's what I smoke. So that's why I do it. Because nice. coming to pipe shows all these years, it's really neat to make that connection and be able to put a face. Uh -huh. So when I smoke this pipe, it's like, oh, wow, that's Clark's work. And me and him had so many laughs back at the Chicago show. Or, you know, remember that time in 2014 when? Yeah. Um, Thank you. 
it's nice for me to make that it's more personal so that's what i deal with okay there are a lot of people who are they only do handmaids okay but they're indiscriminate about it okay um only to the point where if i mean there is a bottom line of skill right <laughs> so not anybody can just get with the dealer there there's a certain level of discrimination that happens yeah yeah very cool um, um, so my other thing is, so the pipe show is winding down. Yep. Um, do you think that this year's pipe show was better than last year's, or what do you think? Uh, I think there were less people who were here. I think it was it was weird because had I not reserved last year, mm -hmm. I wouldn't have been able to get a table this year. Mm -hmm. Funny thing, a lot of empty tables this year. There were a lot of people who would have came uh -huh. had they known there were going to be empty tables. There are a lot of people who aren't here because they weren't able to get a table. So why should I, you know, fly six hours to go to the show right. if I can't even sell my pipes? In? Yeah. So a lot of people who would make um, really good company and mm -hmm. bring in a lot of extra people and foot traffic. We're not here because of that. Like this whole row, this whole half row behind me is empty. Oh, yeah. So it's a it's a little discouraging. It raises my odds, of course. Yeah. But my it's, other, it's always nice to see a full show. Yeah. My other thing was I know we went to the dinner last night and they have a new award for like the master of pipes to bring yes. in young blood, basically. Do you think that's gonna be helpful? Because with you know, only acknowledging the older generation, you're kind of like you know, not creating a, a good society for the younger people to, you know, get up and take over things. It's, it, it cannot hurt. Um, the, the biggest peril about coming to these pipe shows is that you become friends with people who are a grandfather's age. Yes. Say, so, you know, 60 plus. Oh. The worst thing about them is they like to die. Yeah. So, <laughs> it's... The, the the Doctor of Pipes Award, mm -hmm. you have to be here for a long time in yeah. order to get that award. And you need to know the right people and achieve the right amount of um, notoriety. Goodness yeah. for the industry. Not only as a they have two, so one is given to a retailer and then uh -huh. one is given to a hobbyist who's written a lot of articles or does history or is just a really good person over the years. Mm -hmm. A good collector. Uh -huh. Um so to do something for a younger generation is really good. Yeah. I mean, you, you look at a guy just over here, mm -hmm. someone you might want to talk to, his name is Steve Norse. Okay. He has all those black uh, cartons up on the table. He's, okay. He's a young guy. Yeah. He's in it for the right reasons, and he's grown to the point where he's the exclusive supplier of pipe making supplies in the U.S. Wow. Okay. Um, he's just good people. Yeah. Um, so he would be very much deserving of an award like that yeah. because he he's given a lot yeah he's given a lot but he, he's gained a lot in return so there's a benefit to being good yeah definitely i definitely believe that um i'm gonna go on but thank you for sharing some information with me